coronary angioplasty and stenting uh, is a treatment for coronary artery narrowings. During the angiogram procedure, it is possible to place a very fine guide wire down through the coronary artery and across the narrowed or blocked lesion. When the wire is in place, it is then possible to deliver a range of treatments to the artery to open it up. Most commonly, we use a balloon to stretch up the narrowed artery. And in the majority of cases following this balloon stretch or angioplasty, we implant a metal strut called a stent into the artery to provide a supportive scaffold to open up the artery. And this is coronary angioplasty and stenting. Coronary angioplasty and stenting is performed in the main to reduce or alleviate the symptoms of angina. There are some complications with uh, the procedure, both with coronary angiography and angioplasty and stenting. It is not uncommon to have slight discomfort at the site where the catheter enters, either at the wrist or the top of the leg, and very commonly there's minor bruising. Sometimes the bruising can be more severe, and this is why patients are observed after the procedure on the recovery ward to monitor for this. There are some rare and serious complications of angioplasty and stenting, and these include heart attack, stroke and death. It is important to recognise that the heart team looking after you during the procedure are trained to monitor for these complications and very often if a problem arrives it can be sorted out at the same time. Your cardiologist will have discussed any risks of these procedures and balanced them against the benefits when referring you for this procedure. I don't think there are any specific measures, although it's important to be clear about what blood thinning treatment you require before the procedure. Most commonly for patients coming in for an angioplasty, we want patients to be taking a specific regime of blood thinning tablets, and these most commonly have to be taken at least a few hours before the procedure commences. If you decide not to have angioplasty and stenting, your cardiologist will support you and we will look at what alternative treatments we have for your angina. The recovery period after an angioplasty and stent and coronary angiogram are similar. For patients who are admitted early in the day, commonly after angioplasty and stenting, they can be discharged the same day. If the procedure is performed later in the day, or if it's a complex procedure, or if there's nobody at home with you that night, you may be asked to stay in overnight and get home the following day. Again, in the first 48 hours after the procedure, it's important to avoid strain or pressure over the puncture sites in the wrist or the leg by avoiding heavy lifting and strenuous activity. Your heart team will give you advice about when you can return to driving. And it's very important that if you have a, an angioplasty and stent, that you're clear about what blood thinning medication you should take after the procedure. It's very important that you renew any prescription for blood thinning medication with your GP and that you don't run out of this medication or stop taking it because particularly in the early phase after angioplasty and stenting if you were to stop the blood thinning treatment there's some risk that the stent may block off. Your follow-up will depend to some degree on what procedure was done and I would say that the heart team will give you advice after the procedure about what follow-up is required and if you're going to be seen in clinic.